Today we're going to build this very simple and modern looking desk. It's lightweight, easy to disassemble and very affordable to build. So let's get started. This build requires a total of two thirds of a sheet of plywood. You're going to need the following cuts. A for the top, measuring 26 by 40 inches. For the base, cuts B, C, D, E and F. As well as G for edge bending. And for this you could use strips of wood, metal or some other material. Start with making all your cuts. Now let's focus on the top. In order to give the top a more interesting look, I decided to create the illusion of separate boards, even though it's made up of one piece of plywood. So I'm using masking tape, separating out five boards. Each board I'm staining using a slightly different colored stain. I start with the three middle boards, pull off the tape, put down some new tape, reapply some stain to stain the middle two boards and then I let it dry. I continue to work with a darker stain in the periphery around the whole table to give the surface a more lived-in realistic look. The next day I start applying shellac, first underneath, then about five coats on top. You could use any finish you prefer, such as polyurethane or lacquer. Now while that's drying, let's focus on the base. So remember, we have cut B and C and those primarily make up the legs. So let's attach B and C together and basically make two boxes, one for each side of the desk. Next, let's put on the brackets on opposing sides. And these I'm just stapling in for the sake of simplicity. And there you go, the two legs completed. With the brackets for stability and they make a big difference. For a contrasting base, I decided to use oil paint. I started with a primer and then I moved on to a glossy white paint, sanding in between coats. To assemble the desk, screw in the legs to the top. Also screw down the support in the middle and the brackets connecting the legs to the bottom of the table. These would be a good idea to paint too. Now for edging there are several options. I wanted a metallic edging to contrast the wood and the white. So first I started with aluminum that I cut and bent. However, it broke, so I decided to paint strips of wood with aluminum paint and staple that on. Another option would be to put on wood edge banding ahead of time and stain it the same as the top. Now, to bring down the gloss level a little bit, it's a good idea to finish the piece with some wax polish and steel wool. This makes the surface smoother and not quite as shiny. And there you have the finished desk. A very simple design, cheap to make, and of course there are endless possibilities in terms of color and design. Thanks so much for watching.